Hey University of Dayton, my name is Katie and this is my question, my mark. Everyone seems to be talking about the environment nowadays. There's a great need to protect the world we live in from destruction, pollution, and climate change. One of the biggest parts of the world that is suffering an immense amount of damage is the ocean, more specifically the coral reefs. So my question is, how exactly can we protect the coral reefs from damage around the world and how can we promote and encourage others to protect the reefs as well? Before we get started, let's find out what you already know about the coral reefs with a pre-quiz. 1. Threats to the coral reefs include which of the following? A. Pollution B. Overfishing C. Rising ocean temperature or D. All of the above that's right, the answer is D. All of these factors have contributed to the depletion of coral reefs. Question 2. True or false? Coral reefs have the potential to contribute to the discovery of new medicines. True. We will find out more about this contribution later on in the video. Question 3. How many countries have coastlines protected by coral reefs? Is it A. 27 B. 49 C. 74 or D. 109 the correct answer is D. 109 different countries are protected by coral reefs on their borders. Coral reefs are basically the rainforest of the ocean. There is a huge amount of diversity in animal and coral species. The reef supplies a huge amount of food for people all around the world, and without them, many people would not receive the food they need in order to survive. They also act as barriers in island nations to prevent erosion in the air. Not only do the coral reefs serve as important food sources for people all around the world, but they could also serve as an important source for new medical innovation. Using the coral reefs and discovering the organisms within them, we could discover the cure for cancer, arthritis, asthma, other viruses, and even other diseases. We have no idea what we can find, and it's really important that we preserve the coral reefs so that we can make these discoveries in the future. The health of the reefs is directly affected by the environment surrounding the reef, as well as human impact on the reef itself. We must protect the reefs today because they grow back at an incredibly slow rate and they cannot be created as quickly as they are being destroyed. Many factors are contributing to the destruction of coral reefs. One of these factors is human impact, such as overfishing and unsafe boating or diving practices. Another is poor water quality due to pollution, including oil spills, which can completely destroy a reef's ecosystem and the organisms within it. But my question isn't just about finding the most effective way to save the coral reefs. It's also about encouraging other people to do it. How can we get more people to help save the reefs and how can we promote it throughout the world? How can we get students from the University of Dayton, who are over 1,000 miles away from the closest coral reef, to help make a contribution? Is it by using the internet? Is it by having public rallies or by making public organizations in the school? What can we do? How can we promote the saving of the coral reefs? That's one of my big questions that I want to get answered. It's all about starting from the ground up and we need to find a way to do it because we can't just do it with one or two people. So how can we save the coral reefs from environmental destruction? That's what I plan to discover. My plan is to travel to areas where there is a dramatic need to save coral wildlife. This includes the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef, which spreads along Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, and Honduras. I hope to work with organizations such as the Coral Reef Conservation Program and the Coral Reef Alliance in order to discover why coral reefs are disappearing at such an alarming rate and what people can do in their everyday lives in order to contribute to the protection of the great coral reefs. Hopefully, with your help, I will be able to contribute to the protection of the coral reefs and their survival in the future that we will be able to enjoy them for many years to come. Thanks everyone, hope to see you soon.